sometimes students say to me that um, they don't understand and why do they have to do this? They're never going to use this math in the real world. And so if this here is a problem that I've just did recently in the real world, this stage in this picture, we had to calculate the curvature of that stage, but the, um, the distance from here to the wall was less than the radius of the stage. So to be able to draw that curve on the stage when it was rectangular, it used to come out like this before we cut off all the um, plywood into the curves. That, um, that radius was way behind the wall. So we had to have a way of calculating the curve, the, the radius, so it would end up right in the right place when we cut it someplace else. And then we would put it into position and have it meet the wall exactly where we wanted it to meet and come out from the wall the exact amount. So that is a problem. And the solution is um, fairly simple, and it will fall. I have this problem where I have to build a stage. And the building has some walls that are kind of in this shape. And I have to build the shave, the stage, with a curve. So the problem is, what is the radius to cut this curve? And how far like how long it is, is it? If it's further, the radius is further than this point, I can't cut it in place because I, you know, if you use a string to mark it and you have to put the radius down and then rotate around this point. Well, if, if the point is through the wall, you can't uh, cut that radius. So I need to first calculate what that radius is and then figure out how I'm going to cut it. So to figure out the radius, first of all, I draw a, a line between the two points where it touches the wall. And then I find the bisector of the line where the stage is. Um, at its peak point here. And we're going to call this the radius. That's the turning point. Now we also know that if we go from this point down to this point, that's also the radius. So mark that R. What we've got now is this triangle here. So we can measure this point. We'll call this point X this line, and it goes from the center to the point on the wall where the stage is supposed to touch, and that can be measured. And I'm going to call this point, this here, Y. This can be measured, so we know how. If we know how far from the wall to the point in the middle of the room, or partway of the room that we want the stage to go at, the, at its furthest point, we measure from this bisector to that point. Call it y. And now this length here. That there is r, the radius, minus y. And now we have a situation where we have a, a, a triangle. It's a right angle triangle. And we get to use Pythagoras to solve. So we've got, if we use Pythagoras, it's r squared equals x squared plus 
r minus y squared. And if we want to find out what r is, we have to rearrange, solve, and get all the r's on one side of the equation. So let's expand this x squared plus r squared minus 2ry plus y squared. That's equal to r squared. And so if we move this r to the other side, it becomes negative. And we get r squared minus r squared. So r squared minus r squared. And then move this to ry plus 2ry is equal to x squared. y squared. So now we can eliminate the r squareds here. And we're left with 2ry equals x squared plus y squared. And we then we move the 2y over. So the radius is equal to x squared plus y squared divided by 2y. And that's, that, remember the x is something you can measure, and the y is something you can measure, because from those you can calculate the radius. And it's just a matter of finding a place with a long enough radi radius that you can get your string and draw that curve on uh, a template or something so you can cut that out of your uh, stage material. Okay?